Hey everybody, and welcome to how to apply alternate row shading to a SharePoint Online or a Microsoft Lists list. So to get started, go to the list that you want to change shading for and select the caret symbol next to the name of that list view. So I'm going to drop down uh, my all items view and go down to format current view. On the formatting menu, you can see I can choose alternating or conditional formatting. In this video, we're going over alternating row styles. As soon as I select that circle next to it, notice I get a preview of how that's going to look in my list. And to me, this makes it easier to read. I hope my users appreciate that uh, ease of reading as well. And if I'm happy with that, I'll just click save. Now, some of you may want to go beyond a basic gray and white pattern. So if that's you, uh, before you leave this panel, select the edit row styles under alternating row styles. And now notice I can change what happens for odd rows versus even rows. So let's say I, I don't want that gray. I could change that gray to one of these pastel options, like maybe this kind of red color here and now, or a pink color there. And I can see how that changes more to like a candy cane stripe uh, throughout my list. Now, uh, notice the, the options here are a little limited. They're all these pastel colors. So if you're looking for something a little bit darker for your row, select more styles. When you go to more styles, there's a drop down here for fill color, which allows you to choose from twice as many color options, where I still have those same pastels that I had before, but now I can choose darker colors or variations as well. So maybe I really like this dark purple. I can choose that. But notice how now my text is illegible. I can't really read that. It's black on purple. So to change the text color to make that uh, legible for my readers and my users, I'm going to choose the text color drop down uh, while I'm here and change that to white. Now I can read that much easier against that dark purple and my users can as well. Now, before we leave here, if you have any other style changes you want to do, since we're at the most advanced part of the styling that we can do, notice that you can change the font size from small all the way up to extra large. You can make your, uh, your font bold or italic or underlined or strike through uh, for these rows. And I can also add a border around the entire row if I want to, whether that's just top and bottom or all the way around, uh, really making it truly my own. I like to keep things simple for my users, so typically I stop just at changing the alternating row shading, but you may have a use case where these additional uh, changes in look and feel uh, benefit your users. So when you're happy with the changes you've made, select save, and then I'm going to hit the back arrow up here in case I want to make changes to the even rows. If I don't want those to be white, maybe I want to go with a, you know, a light yellow here. Maybe those match my company colors a little better, or it just looks nice. And once again, when I'm happy or satisfied with how I've configured the even rows, I'll choose save again. And that's all there is to it. Now, when you are making changes, if you notice that it's not giving you a preview of what you're selecting, just hit save and refresh your browser window and uh, chances are it's gonna show up there. It's just sometimes that live preview uh, doesn't always keep up with us. And that's all there is to creating alternating row shading for your lists.